my mic was muted, and I started talking. I am so glad I can see my my uh, um, audio wave here. Anyways, welcome to Palm Prevail. I made it. That was a very long uh, minecart ride. Read note 38. That is note 39, talks. Frederick begins to speak to you through the walkie-talkie. <laughs> Hello? I can see that you have reached Pompervale. The city is completely flooded because of the Enderman flooded it. Yeah, why would they do that? But somewhere within this flooded city is a key to the Enderman base, so search this place thoroughly and you will find it. Do exactly what you did in Vren's Tower. Search every house, every chest, and look for diary entries and stuff like that to find clues to the whereabouts of the key. Be careful, though. The Enderman and other mobs are here. Change your difficulty to easy or normal now. Yeah, so town closed due to flooding. Well, I am going to fight this water. Town pumping platform. You may want these. Boats. Oh, thank you. I'll take a few too many of those, because I know I'm going to break them. Pump avail. Pump. Do not shut down. Read note P1. So P means pump avail. You find diary next to the pump. You begin to read. Alright. Uh, day 1. Hello, my name is Richard Haggins. I am the chief pump operator for pump avail. The pump started up today, so I decided that I would document its days of operations in case we need to reference on how to work the pump later. Yesterday, the Endermen, the creatures that we have been at war with for quite some time now, decided to bust a hole in the wall we carved in the land to build the Pomper Vale, to build Pomper vale all those years ago. The hole they made allowed water from a nearby lake to leak into the city and flood the entirety of it. It was very devastating. The mayor has appointed me and a few other men to set up a pumping system to pump all of the water on it. And that is exactly what we did. The pistons that you can see pushing at random is our pump's engine. This engine is pulling water out of the area. So far, I can't tell how well this is doing. We'll have to see and hope that it works. Day 2. We've been pumping non-stop and there seems to be no shortage of water in the city. Some people are still living in their houses, but no most have given up as their homes are flooded. So they are living in tents outside the city. If we aren't able to pump all the water out, we will have to leave and find a new home. Day three. The water just keeps pouring in and replacing any water we pump out. Why don't you plug the hole? I don't know where it's all coming from. The lake that it's pouring into the city isn't even that big. Luckily, the pump is working fast enough so that the entire city isn't completely submerged, but not fast enough to get rid of all of it. Plus, the Endermen are taking advantage of our weakness that they created and are wreaking havoc on our people. The army can't keep up. Day four. The Endermen attacks are getting nasty and relentless. The mayor told me that if all the water isn't drained by tomorrow, we will have to pack up and go somewhere else to build a new city. Day 5. Well, it's settled. The water is coming fa in faster than we can pump it out, and the Endermen are giving no us no reprieve. We will have to move on and build a new city. I'm going to leave the pump going, though, so that maybe one day it will drain out all the water and we can bring Pomperville back to its former glory. Oh my gosh, it's nighttime. Alright, well, that's where it's pumping out, I guess. Um. I'm gonna go in there first. Let's see what this is. I don't trust myself to navigate the boat through there, so I'm just going to walk. Miss Cadbury's house. Read note P2. You got an extra block in there. You found a note. Hi, my name is Mary, and I used to live in this town. I would like to tell you my life story or something like that, but I don't have time. The Endermen are attacking, and I've got to get out of here. I have to leave my life savings behind, as I cannot get to them, but it pains me to see that all my money go to waste. So, if whoever finds this note can find it, they may keep it. It is down in the basement, but the basement is completely flooded. So go for it if you want to. And also, the key to Mr. Barker's house is down there, too. He gave it to me to look after his house when he left. So if you want 
If you, so if you'd like to get it, that's there too. Okay. <laughs> well, I found bread. Where's the basement? Oh! That's what that is. Oh, well, your books are getting ruined. Read note P3. Search this flooded library for treasure and the key to Mr. Barker's house. Look for ladders to find air areas like the one you are in now to replenish your air supply along the way. Thank you, Professor. Ladder. I see a ladder and I want to get to it. Library's a this library's a maze. P4. This must be the key to Mr. Barker's house. Take it there and open the door. Alright. Again, it would be cool if we could... If we could see... Uh, if these were renamed with an anvil. Of course, anvils weren't in the game yet. But that would be cool if, if this told me what key this actually was. <gasps> I almost drowned there. <sighs> Mary, do you know how to get around your library? Clay. Ladder! Yay! I left all that uh, crap in my base and then never... Now I'm picking half of it up again. Oh my greatness! When was the last time I slept? Anybody remember? Oh man, there's the life savings right there. Is it worth it? Okay, I got there. Holy crap, Mary. Now can I get back? I'm so used to games where you can just press quick save right now. And if you, if you die, you get all this stuff back. This is Minecraft, however. If I die, all this is burning up. I don't want all this to burn up. Shit, shit, shit! I survived. I am on normal, okay. Back into the water. Think I can get out of here now? I don't know my way out. Okay, I think I found my way out, but I don't think I ever went straight ahead. That looks rather intriguing. And there turned out to be nothing there. Oh, 
All oh, right. I hear zombie. Turn the boat around. Is that Mr. Barker's house? Yes, it is. Okay. I find it strange that uh, they have to leave, so they just give it to us. Not like as if as if she's not gonna get it when she comes back. Anyways, it's a note from Mr. Barker. My name is Jerome Barker. Today I am living in Pompervale. I have decided to do this because I cannot take the enemy bombardments any longer. So that totally says today I am leaving Pompervale. I also cannot stand that my house is flooded. I would go to the refugee camp nearby, but I figure what's the point? This town is never going to stop being attacked by the Endermen, and I doubt that they will ever be able to pump all of the water out, so I'm going to move somewhere else. Maybe I'll move to the Vrendus Tower. That seems like a happening place these days. Or maybe I'll go to Falsis. Anywhere is better than here right now. But before I go, I will make a stop at the refugee camp to say goodbye to some friends and give the Larsons, key back, to Larsons back the key to their house. You think to yourself, maybe I should go to check the refugee camp to see if I can gain access to the Larsons residence, because according to this note, the key should be there. Maybe there are still people there, too. The refugee camp is nearby, outside the city. Go and investigate. All right, I'm just going to grab your fish, melon, and another extra sword first. Close. Oh, wait, right. That's an iron door. Duh! Okay, now is the refugee camp this way, I wonder? There's the zombie, though. Or is it? I'm going to try this way. Can the boat go upstream easily? I don't know. I tend to avoid boats in Minecraft. For that reason. Well, I know they definitely can't go uphill. Okay, that would be the departure from this place. There's the lake. That's where it's draining in. That's something on fire. Oh, there's the refugee camp. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Pompervale Refugee Camp. For those who have lost their homes to the flood. Read note P6. You enter the refugee camp, and to your dismay, there appear to be no people left here. They must have given up hope and decided to leave. At least you can still look for the key to the Larson's house. Unless they took it. The Cadbury's. Hehe. <laughs> I want chocolate. Supply storage. Raw beef. Hmm. Better than nothing in case I'm desperate. Oh, read note P7. It's a note. I'm the quartermaster head cook of the refugee camp. Conditions here are terrible. We barely have any food. Most of what we do have is rotten. I'm surprised that the people still stay here. But I assume the ones who do either don't want to leave because of how much they love Pompervale, or they can't leave because they are too sick of sick or old or broke. The camp's conditions certainly aren't helping the sick and the old, but we are trying as hard as we can. Rotten flesh. There's that rotten food he was talking about. Oh, double click does not work here. At least shift click works. I'm happy about that. Supply storage. The Larsons. Read note P8. You search the chest and, surprisingly, the key to the Larsons' house is inside. Now you can go there and see what's inside. Okay. Alright, think I could get in a boat like this? Nope. I 
I have to swim. Whoa, let's uh, go straight though. I wonder if that's the Larson's house. It is. Read note P9, stop! There's a door on the side. The front door's broken and will not open. See if there's a side door. There is a side door. They got a friggin' glass wall. I can see the side door. Key below. I'm in. Read note P10. It's a note left by Larson's. We were the first to be hit by the flood. We were sleeping and then suddenly we were woken up by the sound of an explosion and then the piercing chill of water. The enemy put a hole in the side of the land right above our house, which caused water from the lake to flow through. It came down with such ferocity that it broke through our sunroof and then it began to flood the rest of the city. We cannot live in these conditions. Luckily, the mayor has built a refugee camp near the city, so we will go there. We are close friends with the mayor, though. We have the key to his house, so we are going to leave it in our chest for him to pick up. So it turns out this place is more important than I thought. Uh, more food, mayor's key. These keys are so in chronological order. And I pretty much have to walk. I'm going to park my boat right where it is to get to the mayor, so I'll just walk the rest of the way. I want to see what this is, though. Nothing. Mayor's got a lot of pictures. Someone really liked art. Yeah, you got that right. Read note 39. Frederick speaks to you through the walkie-talkie. <coughs> Hello, it's me. I can see that you're inside the mayor's house. I recommend you search this area thoroughly because the mayor is a government official and he's likely to have a key. No promises, though. You never know. Ooh. It looks like the house is somebody important. It's big. It has that cool balcony thing. Because apparently that means you're important. Ooh. Then it has this balcony thing, too. Oh, that's quite the hole. I would have liked it if it was a bit rounder, but okay. Ninja. There's a lever there. Read note 40. Frederick speaks again. <laughs> ah, a secret passage. This is starting to look promising. Keep up the good work. Does he have a tracking chip, or does he have a camera on her forehead? 